Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Sin Daz here. Today, let's discuss some tips and tricks for sniping on the new night map. Hopefully by the end of the video, we can give new recruits tools for success and give those who are well seasoned some good reminders. Speaking of reminder, as of today, Premium Trials is released and anyone can play any of the DLC maps, including the night maps. So after the video, be sure to hop onto the battlefield. So let's begin. We will have three areas of focus for today. Your setup and visibility, basic tactical movement, and finally, positioning. Now for your setup. You gotta prep for success. Remember, night maps are obviously darker. Visibility on targets is key for any sniper. So be sure and turn up the brightness in your in-game settings and or for your monitor slash television to ensure you can see the movement of enemy players. It seems like a silly reminder, but I have had even the most experienced players make this rookie mistake. Loadout is next. Remember, because this is a night map, scope glint is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Utilizing a marksman or iron sight when in darker areas will help conceal you. Note that sniper variants are effective. Just stand near a bright area so the focus isn't solely on you in the environment or by your comrades. Additionally, your most prized possession for the night is your flare gun. Use it as much as you can to spot and brighten up areas to spot targets. Trenches, corners, and small roads are going to be both your advantage and disadvantage as a sniper. You can always pin down a hall or a trench when those decide to move blindly to their death. But to help your fellow teammates, you also always want to be on the move. Remember to slice the pie when moving around corners as shown in this clip, or even when looking over hills. Give yourself the least possible visibility for your enemy to target you. You want every possible advantage. Blindly running a corner with no plan in the night is a bad one. Performing clean movement faster than your opponent will net you kills as a sniper on these maps. Now, let's talk some brief tactical advantages on the map. Objective C is a must-have point on the map as it gives you the ability to flank and move freely to all points. This is the most dangerous spot, but can be the strongest for a sniper to hold down with a squad. Nearby objectives are important to hold in a triangle-type positioning. Example, if you hold C, E, and B, this gives you the advantage as a sniper to know where your enemy is going to be coming from. This is your strongest advantage as a sniper, and if you find yourself on the map unsure of where an enemy is, pick an objective on the outside perimeter and move in with a squad to the center point to hold. One final tip to all snipers in the night, remember constant movement is key. A stationary target is a dead one. If you take a shot, assume someone is doing the same thing right back at you that you may not see. I hope these tips are helpful and I'll see you out on the battlefield.